gonna be emptying out my fridge today in the midst of an apocalypse. No tasting room, no beer festival, just complete raw footage and I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's find out what we're drinking today. Today we're gonna to be talking about a beer from Logs and Farmhouse Ales and it's a collab with McKellar called Stems and Stones. It's a Oak Age Wild, wild Ale and see how it tastes. Beer isn't too difficult to pour. Uh, we are using a tulip glass, which is perfect for higher gravity beers, like stuff like these higher ABV sours. So I guess a little information on the brewery. Um, Watson is on the border of Washington and Oregon. Um, do a lot of like saisons, a lot of ales, a lot of sours, um, stuff that's like lighter in color. Uh, to my knowledge, they don't do any stouts, not that I've seen. At least in San Diego, you can't really find this too often. Bottlecraft has it. Um, a couple of liquor stores will get it in, but it's not super common around here. But um, the stuff I've had before sound, you know, tastes pretty good. So this is the companion to the McKellar one they did together late last year. Um, really like the bottle. I'm a big sucker for purple beers for some reason, just like Bottle Logic's picture, if you will. So let's give this a try. So um, I had never personally been to Logson. Um, we've been to Portland before. So this, they're on the border of Oregon and Washington, like 20 minutes from Hood River on the Washington side of the border. Uh, had I known, I really wish we would have gone. And the, uh, I've actually talked to the brewers a couple times on Instagram when I checked in season for Sir on Untapped, but not to go out there next time we go to Portland, head up Great Notion again, um, and then make our way over here. Hopefully we survive the apocalypse and we can actually make it over there. But now as far as how the beer actually tastes and I, guess, I suppose it's texture, um, Medium body, a little bit acidic, um, not overwhelmingly so. This is like a very sippable sour, and if I, in my opinion, I think it's a very chuggable sour. But definitely taste the plum in here, a bit of orange. Um, apparently has Syrah grapes in there, so I, I guess I can kind of get that vibe off of it. Uh, not, it's a bit fruity, but it does have like more of a mellow taste, but at the same time being fairly acidic. Uh, as far as other things I've had from Logson, this is probably one of the, you know, one of the higher up ones I'd recommend, but most of the stuff that they actually make is pretty fair, it's pretty good in the sour community. Definitely would get a sixer of this, but, uh, it's a little pricey, so I don't know if you can really pick up a sixer, but if you're ever in the market and you see Logson on the shelf, highly recommend it. Apparently it has a bit of, like, a wildflower taste. I don't know if I get that, but I don't really have a lot of sours that use that, so... If that's what you're into, I, you, I guess you'd have to try for yourself to really verify if that's in there. But described as a sippable ale, definitely agree. Uh, honestly, on point. Very, you know, very, very, uh, very on point with this description. Plums, are, plums and oranges are really the thing I detect most out of this. I don't, wouldn't, as I said, I wouldn't describe the wildflowers, but. I think they need to change the label to from sippable to chuggable, but to each their own. There's only two minutes left? Yeah. There's only two minutes left. Um, I have actually talked to the people on Instagram before when I had uh, McKellar's uh, season for Sir, the collab with Logson. Um, they actually messaged me and asked me what I thought about that beer, and it's it pretty dang good. I'm not going to... You know, not going to sugarcoat it. It's pretty good. Um, I think this one is better than the McKellar season for Sir collab with Logson. I think this is really the one that that hits it home. Uh, so if you can find it, it's mostly like in specialty bottle shops and craft beer stores. You're going to be kind of hard pressed to find even just general Logston releases in uh, you know in liquor stores or grocery stores, unless you probably live in the Portland or you know Washington areas. Okay, so it's uh, got an overall untapped rating of 4.05, and see what I what I think of it. Hmm, I think I'm actually going to give it a little higher score. I'd go as far as saying four and a quarter on this guy. 
overall, highly recommend this. Um, pick it up if you see it, or really just get any of the vlog since releases if you happen to find it. Uh, it otherwise, that's it. Uh, follow me on Untapped at BFHPA or on Instagram at Map the Destroyer. Go ahead and throw a comment down. If you agree with me, let me know what your untapped rating is. Comment should be down there if YouTube doesn't change it. Uh, subscribe, and uh, we're going to ride this thing out, and uh, we'll get this figured out as time goes on. But watch for more video releases of random things in my fridge. Uh, I think the next thing we're probably going to do um, is probably one of Bottle Logic's next releases. We've got a lot of stuff in the fridge I had to clear out to make room for food. So uh, that'll be the end. But i uh, Catch you next time for trying to aim to shoot videos, hopefully every week while this thing is going on because we have nothing to do while this pandemic is going on. So uh, look forward to that and uh, catch you on the hop side. Ah, tasty. You're doing great, sweetie. This is the Logson companion to that beer. Um, Damn it, I lost my train of thought since we screwed up that shot. Um, this is the Logston companion to that beer. Hopefully I'm correct. Otherwise I'm going to be called out as a liar that doesn't know anything about beer. And yes, it has plums in it. Plums and grapes it looks like. Looks, plums and grapes it looks like. Stop laughing at me.